Hello, my name is Perry Correll and I'm Principal Technologist at Xeris. Today's presentation is going to introduce you to Xeris's Ace Express, which is basically Xeris's solution for the migration we're seeing now towards 11AC technology. Xeris's AC Express, what's the importance of this and why do we need this? If you look at this slide, you can see what's happening with Wi-Fi today. Obviously, when 11A came along, when 11N came along, there was a pretty good jump in, in usage. But 11AC is exploding all the numbers we've seen before. This isn't from a vendor side. This is actually more from the client side because we see tablet manufacturers and we see handheld manufacturers quickly moving to embrace 11AC, not just for the bandwidth it offers, but also because of the improved battery life. As a result, we're going to see far more 11AC devices hitting your network than most people would have imagined. And as a result, you need to have a solution for it. And to be honest with you, every vendor does have some form of 11AC solution. But what sets Xeris apart? What's unique about our Ace Express solution is that Xeris's Ace Express basically leverages our history or basically our experience in multi-radio technology. The whole idea is I don't have to dedicate one radio to a certain band or a certain technology. I can mix and match. So with the Ace Express, what we have here is multi-technology radios. What that means with our 11AC products, each one of the radios can operate in either 2.4 or 5 gig, which means it can operate as 11A, B, G, N, or AC. You can set it up. What allows you to do then is to address and basically prepare for this migration as we're moving from more of a 2.4 focused client environment to more of a 5 gigahertz focused client environment. The way we do that is a couple ways. First of all, our radios obviously are software programmable. Second part is device fingerprinting. I'm able to actually identify the client. Is it a 2.4 device? Is it a 5 gig device? Is it a 5 gig device that can actually support 11AC technology? Based on that, then I can segment them. What it actually allows me to do is keep the high speed devices with the high speed and keep the low speed devices with the lower speed devices. Optimizing performance for everybody. And it also offers significant future proofing because we all know we're moving towards an 11AC environment. And what this allows me to do is support the two point fewer users today with that modular radio, that software configurable radio, but shift it over to the 5 gigahertz in the 11AC future as it becomes needed. What's important to realize is every vendor out there has an 11AC solution. What's unique about Xeris' solution with our XR630 series product is both radios are 11AC capable. And this is unique in the industry. Most other vendors have one 2.4 radio and one 5 gig 11AC capable. Buying those solutions, you're buying one AC radio and one legacy radio. Because we don't do that, because all of ours are modular and software programmable, both radios are capable of an AC. Multi-technologies across, once again, 11A, B, G, N, AC. No change is required. As you look watching your environment and you see, okay, I've got 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 percent of my clients now are 5 gigahertz capable. It's a click of a button and you're shifting those radios over. You're not replacing APs. You're not pulling more cables. You're not doing switch ports. So once again, seamless integration. And also, with our, with our, just like all of our other products, everyone's got a built-in controller. So the intelligence isn't here. There isn't any choke point like a controller for 11AC bandwidth speeds. Not a good idea to have that. So if you look at this picture right here, traditionally today I can deploy it and maybe I'll have one radio in 5 gig to support 11A, N, or even AC. I'll have another radio in the 2.4 to support legacy clients. Hopefully there's not too many B clients out there, but G and N. Then when I get to the point that the vast majority of my clients are 5 gig capable, I can shift both radios to 11AC and have a fully optimized environment, or maybe both radios are 5 gig. One is supporting 11A speeds, and the other one could be supporting maybe 11N or 11AC type speeds. Now what's even better is when we go to the array architecture. With the array, we have anywhere from 4 to 16 radios. That gives us all the same capability I just talked about, but much greater what you see here on the left is I can set it up where some of the radios are 2.4, some of the radios are 5 gig 11N, some of the radios are 5 gig 11AC, and I can adjust to my environment. That's the most important thing to understand. With BYOD and with more and more devices showing up, you have to adjust to your clients. You have to look at the clients, look at what type of capabilities those devices have, and optimize them. You can't always go at the low end and you can't always go at the high end. You have to design your network to meet the needs of the clients and be able to adjust. And eventually we'll get to the right side where everybody's going to be 11AC. Might be a little farther off, but that capability exists in every one of Xeris' XR products. Once again, you can support the vast majority of clients you have today 
and then migrate them all to 11AC in the future. No forklift upgrades. The existing XR product that we've been shipping for two years now, all ready to go to 11AC. If you have any more questions, Xerus has a great resource for 11AC. Go to our webpage, go to this link, there's an AC FAQ, there's AC posters, basically, you know, how do I get that bandwidth? How do I get 1.3 gig? How do I get, you know, 6.9 gig? Where's that all coming from? A good 11AC white paper and a lot of other inf information for you. So once again, take an opportunity, go to this website, see what's available for you. And if you have any questions, please click on the Ask a Question, and we'll help you out there too. Thank you very much. Have a great day.